Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video that has to do with the Lith Tech Jupiter stuff, the combat arms stuff, etc, uh, etc. Et I want to really start getting back into this stuff because I'm just realizing I'm sitting here on my computer all the time and just straight staring at Facebook and I'm using a thousand dollar computer to just stare at Facebook. Uh, I need some motivation. <laughs> I need some motivation. I want to get back into res modding. I want to get back into working on Lith Archive because I feel like I lost focus on it, and I apologize for that. Um, the guys over on the Discord, like Radeon and Radeon, Radeon, uh, Morpheus, Pure, and all the other guys, they're always messing with stuff when it comes to these games in some way, and I feel like I'm not doing enough, even though I have the website and the Discord set up and I'm one of the administrators. I really want to get back into this. I feel like there's a lot of potential here, and I was modding last night. I was bored. I was trying to mod last night, and I realized how much I've forgotten when it comes to these game files and just messing with lith tech in general. I've forgotten so much, so I went to MPGH, and I looked in their tutorial section, and I realized how much I never documented. So I want to document relearning combat arms modding and just Lith Tech Jupiter in general. I feel like it's such a great engine, it's very um, underappreciated, and there's too many things when it comes to Lith Tech that um just there's too much you could do here and it's not getting the praise and the love that it needs so like that's the wrong folder i think there we go so like i have cyclone bmx i want to make this game work i've never gotten to play it i've never gotten to do anything with it i want to convert the maps in cyclone bmx over to tps and see if we could make like a small multiplayer shooter where we're running around skate parks or BMX parks shooting each other. I think that'd be badass. That's the kind of stuff I want to bring over to Combat Arms. Make a training map or a custom map and make it launch on there. Uh, there's also other stuff like I have the FTP stuff. I have so much more, so many more items that I just don't know what happened to them. Is it in here? Yes, so I have a lot of this stuff. I have Heat Project. Um, I have all the Combat Arms stuff, Decrypted Attributes from 2013, some map stuff, the tools. There's a new LTB to LTA, so if you guys want a tutorial on the new LTB to LTA, let me know, because there's a complete new LTB to LTA that works flawlessly with Combat Arms that was released in the Crossfire res modding section of MPGH. It's a badass tool, and I love it. Um, but, like, these are just some releases and the downloads for it. There, I have a ton of stuff for it. I have, like, the 3DS Max, the Maya 5.0, the Visual Studio, the proper version to com or, uh, compile the code. Uh, I have the source codes in Jupyter ENT. I have all this stuff, and I, I have Combat Arms installed. I need to run the updater, which... I bet you I haven't ran it in forever, so I'm going to run this right now while I'm recording this video because I know I need to update it. I haven't. I started extracting all the res files, but then I was just like, wait, why do I need to extract all of them? This is pointless and stupid. I feel like it's not going to... Okay, it is going to download. Cool. Um, I am going to get back into trying to make the res modding bypass release uh, to automate the process. Although I feel like it's such an easy bypass that there's really no reason to hide it. But the development company that owns CA Classic now has shown initiative that they'd be willing to patch it. And they did patch the previous uh, exploit. So it's possible they could patch another one. And that's one of the reasons why we don't want to release it. But just got to find a way to put it somewhere else. I think I have an idea of how to hide it from them, but it's just 
it, it's so much. It's so in depth. So if you guys remember, the original bypass that we released last year was well it's gonna open in well let's just incriminate myself real quick <laughs> god damn it change I told you guys saw me click this you guys heard me click this because my microphone is right above my mouse there we go I don't have any other way to set up my computer. So, but if you guys remember how this was done, it was game slash rs dot res rs dot res, and then what we would do is we would like change the folder name in two locations, and we would change this to like mods, create a mods folder and put the modified rs.res in that folder and we'd change it in two locations. So game slash rs.res and we'd change it here as well. So, and that's how we would run the game and actually get modding working. So there is another bypass and I do have it working. Um, I was very surprised that it worked, I'll say that. Anybody could figure it out, it's not hard, but I want to get back into modding and I realized how much I forgot with the new LTB to LTA it makes modding even easier as well because I couldn't even LTA convert the uh, STM child dot LTB which is the one for uh, ST it's the one for uh, the player model animations as you can see, there's the one for the women model, the one for the men's model, and you can't really do anything. These are the weight stat things, I think. Isn't this plain text? It's 1KB, come on. What the hell do I have open in here? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, so there's just a bunch of stuff that I want to relearn. Like... Oh, it's just, oh, it's because of having this open. Go away. Hmm. But I want to figure out the new mods. I want to figure out new things we can do in the game. There's so much that we could do, and I want to figure it out, and I want to do it with you guys, and I want to actually document it. So give me ideas down in the chat. Post on Lith Archive your ideas because it'll be easier <laughs> to rem see them and remind myself of them um just let me know overall uh the only thing don't that i don't want you to ask about is attribute stuff and gms uh gsm G gms gsm gms and xml stuff that stuff is pointless also don't ask about map mods because those are only going to be for tps so those will be completely separate videos altogether the first thing we're going to do is relearn res chams. I want to relearn that stuff because it's the most useful mod. But I'm also thinking, they've been beat to shit. <laughs> People can make res chams. It's stupid simple. There's more advanced things with res chams that I want to try again. Like I was discussing it on the Discord with uh, Radeon over here. We were discussing it here, and I was talking about how during invincibility frames it would flash and it was a res champ thing i want to figure out how to do that again i haven't done that in forever that's the kind of stuff i've forgotten how to do but there's also so many other things that would just be so awesome to bring back to the game like custom models and custom animations and custom guns and what the oh that's because it's downloading the stuff for the update that's right anyway but yeah there's just a ton of stuff that i'm gonna huh i wonder if not internet jesus christ okay so it's not plain text here either it's literally just a file extension thing i was wondering if they like encrypt and decrypt on download <laughs> kind of like uh crossfire does but yeah 
I want to learn. I want to get into all of this stuff again. Uh, I feel like I've lost my way a little bit. I need to get back to my roots of modding. And I want to do this stuff. And I want to do this stuff with you guys. Too many of you guys have been waiting on these videos for years. These documentation. The documentation of this stuff from me for years. Uh, me bringing back tutorials from old sites using uh, archive.org for things like de-edit and all that. There's so much. So much. And I feel like we need to do this together or we're never going to do it. Just plain and simple, that's how easy it is. We're never going to do it if we don't do it now. So, now that the weather's getting cold, expect me to be on here more often, more live streams. Um, I gotta make that money because I bought an expensive car. <laughs> that's none of your guys' fault, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, my idiot ass bought an expensive car. Update on the car. Nobody's going to care about this section. It's not misfiring anymore. We don't know why. It's fine. Update on the car over. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys understand enjoyed the video. Um, possibly tomorrow I might try to live stream just to like get my head in order to think of things for this. And just test things out as long as the res modding still works with the current update. If it doesn't work with the current update, we'll use a TPS client uh, and go from there. I'm going to work on, at least tonight, I'm going to work on the ResMod bypass uh, program for the release. I think Morpheus was going to do that, but he just decided not to, or I don't... I think he's been too busy working on the master server, actually, for Combat Arms Reborn, which... I want to, I'll talk about more of that later on. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys understood the video, understood what the future might hold for this channel when it comes to this stuff. I know I make these promises all the time. Hold me to it. Comment on my other videos, updates, uploads from after this video. Comment, where's the lith tech bullshit? Bug me on Facebook, bug me on my Facebook page, bug me on Lith Archive, bug me on the Discord. Where's the videos? Where's the videos? Where's the res modding? Live stream, you dumbass. Bug me about it. If I don't do it, bug me about it. Because I want to do this. It's just starting is hard. <laughs> Getting started is hard. That's my only problem, is starting something is difficult for me. But once I start it and realize how much I enjoy it, that's when I'm good to go. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, peace out.